Jeremy, Capitan America. Hey, what's up, you guys? Sharmus Prime here, doing another Marvel Universe figure review on the Zero Gravity Space Armor Iron Man figure. This review is brought to you by MarvelousNews.com. Check them out for all the latest in Marvel-related news. If you're trying to find your new Marvel Universe figures and you cannot find them at retail, you can find them at Big Bad. Toys. Big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. So here's the Space Gravity Armor Iron Man in the packaging, and it just says Iron Man right there. Pretty cool picture right over here, E-Dad. Very nice picture of the Watcher over here, by the way. I really like that drawing. Anyway, collect them all, he says. Really want to get a hold of that Grey Hulk. God, that looks awesome over there. Series 5, number 18, this little bio over here says he's proven himself one of Earth's mightiest heroes. Why stop there? The Armored Avenger Zero Gravity Space Armor lets him battle evil beyond the limits of the Earth's atmosphere. So basically what you're getting with this figure is a repaint of this Bleeding Edge Iron Man figure right here. They have the same exact sculpt. You're just getting a new paint job, which is pretty cool. It's kind of Tron looking. I think it's a very interesting paint job. I don't remember seeing this in the comics at all. It very well could be. I don't read the Iron Man title, so it could have gone past me for sure. But uh, yeah, it's pretty decent. You can see it side by side, you know, the, 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 the same exact thing, you know what I mean? Even on the legs right here. It's the same exact sculpt. So I think the paint applications on the figure are pretty cool, pretty unique. You have gold, black, this gunmetal color. We've got this weird splotch right here of light blue. A lot of baby blue on this figure, though. You can see looking up right here, here's the arc reactor. All these lines going on look pretty damn cool over the black. I don't think it looks bad. Pretty neat looking figure. I like this gunmetal color right here. This is cool. I like that a lot. Got this little dot right over here. As I mentioned before, I'm not familiar with this suit, but he has these lines coming down this way, and then he has a line coming down the inside of the leg. So it looks like this line right here is supposed to be on the outside. I don't see why it doesn't continue going down over here. And then you have more of this gunmetal color, which I really, really like. Uh, coming down to the boots so very cool he has peg holes at the bottom of his feet looking at the back of the figure it's pretty bland not a whole lot going on same articulation as the bleeding edge iron man he does have the neck hinge joints so he can look up he can look down he rotates side to side right here at the neck as well ball jointed shoulders move outward they move forward bicep swivel single jointed elbow wrist moves side to side repulsor blast gesture over here he has a closed fist over here he has a diaphragm joint crunches forward and back pretty well rocks side to side just a little bit he has legs that move forward, they move outward, nice T-joints, upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, feet move down, they move up, and a beautiful ankle pivot. So the figure stands about four and a quarter inches tall. And here he is next to the Marvel Universe Bleeding Edge Iron Man. Like I said, same exact sculpt, same figure, just a different paint job. And here he is next to the new Marvel Universe Captain America, which I think they go in perfect scale with each other. He's just a little bit taller than Captain America, so I think they look pretty good. So yeah, man, I don't know. This is not a must-get figure. You do not have to own it. It is a pretty cool-looking figure, though. It's a pretty neat paint scheme. I kind of wish they went with this gunmetal color for the face over here. I think that would have matched better, but again, I'm unfamiliar with the design, so it could be 100% comic book accurate for all I know. So yeah, that's my review, you guys. I hope you dig it, and I'll catch you later. Peace. Okay, and we have this little bio over here. It says, he's proven him... Okay. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs>